What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. Mr. Robot Season 2. It's about time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time. We're here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, last episode, the finale was insane. It was a great finale. And I'm excited to see what, what, ha what happens with Elliot. You know. He's being told what to do by, by, you know, Mr. Robot, his father, in his head, and his mother, and his younger version of himself. And uh, he's supposed to just watch the whole madness happen, and then we saw somebody, or heard somebody knock on his door, but we did not see who knocked on his door. Meanwhile, Angela, she's, um, she got obviously an offer by Evil Corp, and she's been working there, and... A lot of interesting things are going to be happening. I only wrote down like the first half of the episode when it came to notes. I didn't do much after that. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, so, we do know though that the, the revolution has sort of begun. You know, the whole downfall of Evil Corp is rising. But I, they mentioned in that in, in credit scene, you know watching Rome burn, and that, that could be what's happening, you know. Our capitalist society's falling. We need the people, the people, the government, to step in. And the government, meaning Evil Corp, and the, the, the lobbyists that are in the government. and It's going to be exciting. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm very excited. It's going to be interesting. Where's Tyrell? We did not see Tyrell at all. You know, after everything went down, I mean, Elliot was knocked out for, like, Elliot didn't even know what happened. So, is Tyrell... Is Tyrell real? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's real and what's not real, but I'm excited to find out what is real in this next episode, the season premiere of season two. So, let's get into Mr. Robot season two. Episode one and three. Day one. It's almost as if something's come alive. Something's come alive. Okay. Oh. Oh. Could that be what caused his brain damage? Oh. God says there are no accidents. Oh, boy. The forearm, however, is broken. So that will require a cast. And how much will that be? Excuse me? <laughs> God's hand in our hardship? something you need to discuss with the billing department. Talk about Shut up. Name. Shut up, jeez. We have no money. How are we supposed to pay for this on top of all your other bills? Don't touch me. I told you there won't be any bills. Mr. and Mrs. Alderson, please. I'm going to have to ask you to step outside for a second. I'd like to talk to Elliot alone. This is his first instance where he hates how America is run because his family can't pay any of the bills and he's like, I did, you gotta pay! that I need to ask you and anything you tell me Oh, the way it just distorted and just... Oh... There's a little black spot if that's what it's trying to to get up. <laughs> I love that. Today started just like yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. Okay. It's affecting our economy in ways that are extraordinarily significant. The FBI announced today, and we can confirm that Tyrell Wellick and F Society engaged in this attack. What? How did they do that? What? We will respond proportionally and we will respond in a place and time 
and we choose. That's not something that I will announce at press conference. That's awesome! That's so sick! I love that for so much! Oh my goodness! And my daily program begins by having breakfast with my friend Leon. Oh, hell yeah. Just one episode. Joey Badass! And you're just waiting. What's Joey Badass doing here? Like, they don't even eat at the end, bro. He just discovered Seinfeld. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it, though. And talks way too much about it. It's really fucking with him. It's from a dude. I knew him in real life. I'll knock his ass out. <laughs> That's so good. More broadly, though, this points to the need for us to work with the international community to start setting up some very clear rules of the road. Uh, right now, it's sort of the Wild West. Ooh. And I have lunch with Leon. And then there's this one where they're stuck in a garage, though. Yes. What? That's not a TV show, bro. Where's the story? It just makes no sense. What are you talking about, Leon? At 2 p.m., we'll check out a basketball game. Hot Carla, the local pyro, is usually there. Hot Carla? I still don't understand why people like sports. I gotta disagree with you, Elliot. I'm over the weirdest thing. No, if you're wrong, But Elliot. I do see the beauty and the rules. Yes. The invisible code of chaos, hiding behind the menacing face of order. Based? Okay, he's sort of based there. At 6 p.m., I have dinner with Leon. Fuck yeah. Well, maybe I just need to make peace with it, you know what I'm saying? As you can tell, we eat most meals together. Like, maybe that's the show's point. That shit is just pointless, you know? Hey! Life, love, and the means therein. Yeah. Hello again. Yes, I'm talking to you this time. I'm sure you wanted to hear what I told Krista back there, but I'm not ready to trust you yet. Not after what you did. Oh. You kept Friends are supposed to be honest with each other, and you weren't. It's going to take a while to rebuild this You're relationship. Are talking to your friend again? Thought we were done with all that. Stay here. There is more work to be done. Our revolution needs a leader. And what are we doing instead? Journaling. Che Guevara is throwing up in his grave. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, no. That's so good. This control you think you have? It's an illusion. Just like that's an illusion. Tell me where Tyrell is. I can't do that. Then go fuck. <laughs> Again. Hey, there was Darlene, I'm pretty sure. Did she just run by her? Great nation swapped democracy for dictatorship. Oh my goodness. I feel like he's right. In a metaphorical sense in real life and also true like in the show. Like I said in the, in, before the episode started, it could be going to a fascist dictatorship. Someone's definitely like hacked into her house because it's all fucking electronic, yep. And all runs on a server. Because this quote unquote crisis has happened before. Look at this fucking liberal, dude. Not, I don't want to say that in a derogatory way, but like, he's portrayed as a very... She's headed north as we speak. How long do you think she's going to stay away for? Darlene? Long enough. It's Darlene! All the music, ah! Oh. These attacks C-SPAN Could be a cyber Pearl Harbor A cyber Pearl Harbor Oh, that's just hilarious I hope you don't mind I came I came
Something wrong? Oh. <laughs> Could you live with yourself knowing that you framed Gideon? I keep changing the password, but it's so uh -huh. hard. Elliot? Well, tell him that you're slowly descending into madness. Oh. I'm afraid you've left me no choice but to go to them with what I know. Which, given the things I know about the day you left, it's pretty damning. He does know a lot. Perhaps too much. <laughs> I wonder, if I sliced open his neck right now, would it be me doing it, or would it be you? <laughs> you add up to one thing. Me. No. What's going on over there? Okay. He keeps telling himself he's in control, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, that's a what a crazy repetition. I am in control. Oh my god. Gideon's gonna write you out. Oh my god. How do I take off a mask when it stops being a mask? When it's as much a part of me as I am. We keep fighting. Like the world. <laughs> I love it. Facebook friend requests and vine stars. Vine stars. Day. I know we haven't talked in a while. Maybe you only trust me about as much as I trust you right now. But I'm gonna ask you to have hope for me anyway. I will. Please have hope. I will. I love that. Oh. You can hear it in his voice. He he meant it. He was like, please have hope. And Darlene seems to be freaking out. Susan Jacobs, the general counsel at E-Corp. You want to know what her nickname is inside the company? Madam Executioner. Oh my goodness. You deserve what you're getting. Ma'am, I can't say for sure we can give you all your money if you close right now. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> I love it. You have to pay nine, 5.9 million USD if the payment is not made by tomorrow night. It will break your entire system. I love it. Oh, here's Scott. If we're going to pay these bastards, I want to be the one that faces them. <clears throat> Intermission. That's it? Oh, what, what a bullshit way to end. Oh, fuck okay. that. What? 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 The fuck? Okay, that was Mr. Robot, episode one of season two. And, uh... What a good premiere. What a what a really, really good premiere, dude. Holy shit. I mean, I'll start off with just, like, Joey Badass. Did not know he was in this show. I love Joey Badass. Seen him live. You know, he's really a legend. You know, pro era. Him and Steez, man. R.I.P. R.I.P. Cap, uh, capital Steez, but... It's cool to have Joey. I mean, he was he's just that dude who is like just that stoner, you know, watching Seinfeld and he's just trying to find the deep meaning of it, which is what I love cuz I used to do I still do that now. But I do that with shows as well. I'm like, what is the point of this? What are they trying to tell you? And uh, I love that. I fucking love it. Um So, yeah, it was cool seeing Joey. That that was really cool. Uh Shout out to Joey Badass. Um, Elliot is just, he's going in a constant loop. I mean, he, the thing they say is that when you know you're insane is when you repetition, 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 repetition. You're insane. You're mentally insane. And what he's doing now is he thinks it's going to make him sane, but it's making him more insane. 
evidence with what Mr. Robot's doing, you know. He's really fucking with him. And now that part of him, Mr. Robot, since, like he was saying, it's it's a mask. And he can't keep hiding that mask because it's a part of who he is. And if he were to kill that person or if Mr. Robot were to die in his mind, he would essentially not be him anymore. And who knows what kind of other personalities personalities Elliot has. I mean, he has Mr. Robot. He has Elliot. He talks to the viewer, us, whatever. Like, holy shit. I have my theory about Tyrell, though. Ever since all of this went down, Tyrell has disappeared. Mr. Robot knows where Ty Tyrell is, but can't tell Elliot. And with what I saw from season one, I could maybe guess... That a big twist could be that Tyrell was never real either. And Tyrell was also in Elliot's mind to a certain extent. How do you explain Tyrell and Mr. Robot talking, talking to each other? I don't know. And it's really fucking confusing and trippy. And I know it's already going to get confusing this season. It's going to be crazy. Um... God, dude. Great first episode of season two, man. Darlene. You know, she's not really too worried about Elliot. She comes by sometimes, like he said. But Darlene is is the leader of F Society right now. And she is a uh she's a she's a bad bitch. She's a bad bitch. Um, so we'll see what happens with her. In F Society, I mean, they, they did everything, but now it just seems like nothing has happened. I mean, they're still doing, they 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 just did what they did, uh, you know, put in that, that deal. It's like, meet us, no cops, nothing. Pay us 5.9 million. I don't know what they're going to do after. Obviously, they're not going to just send everything back to normal. Like, 5 point million, especially just for F Society, would make F Society look like the bad people. It's like, oh, they just wanted this for their own gain. They didn't want to help all of society, and in the end, it just fucked everything up. So I don't know if there's a flaw within it, because I feel like what they're doing is right. Like, these corporations need to die. They need to go down. They need to be publicly executed. A lot of these very rich, elite motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Like, it's just what it is. Um, and I'm not kidding. Like, fuck them. The, the heads of, like, the oil industry... You know, even very top positions in the government, Amazon, even Disney. As much as I love the things that the innards of the company do, like when it comes to entertainment, I enjoy it. But you still cannot deny the people at the top are still disgusting scumbags. They don't treat their, their workers fairly. They don't pay them a good wage. They overwork them. We've seen it numerous times. So... Of course, they need to go down. And I'm fully with F Society doing what they're doing. But are they doing it the right way? Because like they said, it feels like, especially what Darlene said, it's like, are the people going to have that trust in us? Is what we did for nothing? Because it doesn't feel like anything. As she said, it feels like what they've done has made it worse. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, well, I mean, I feel like Elliot could be the key to all this. He, he's most definitely the key. If he's in his peak primal, you know, position when it comes to doing this kind of stuff, the world will burn. Capitalism will die. The American dream and American imperialism will go down. But if they don't continue to do what they're doing, especially with uh, Elliot, I mean, obviously... Elliot's deranged as fuck. He is going insane, and he's still insane, and he doesn't, he thinks he's in control, but I truly don't think he's in control, and now Gideon knows stuff, and Mr. Robot's freaking out because of it, and Elliot's still trying to stay, stay at least a little bit sane, but I don't think he's gonna stay that for too long. He's not, I don't think he's in control. He may be in control for now. Because of the routine he's made himself in. But Mr. Robot's going to break through him somehow. He most definitely will. That bullet will, like he said, kill him. Or not kill him, but 
finally get him into the right way when it comes to at least starting the revolution. They were not starting, continuing it and, and doing good. Uh, who knows what they're doing in the end is good because, of, like I've said, I've mentioned before, like, we all want the revolution. We all want capitalism to die, even though if we love the things capitalism does, the way we live in our working and living conditions are not peak of what we could be doing. So, like, the ideas in theory, in theory, sound good, but can humans themselves transition into that lifestyle being just being together helping one another not falling into the urges of greed and selfishness you know what i mean because greed is a is a definitely human trait i believe that a lot of humans just have greed in them and it's disgusting even me like i don't know it but if i were to be rich i would probably turn greedy and I really don't want that to happen. But there's also a part of, like, everybody that, like, you say that when you're poor and you're like, man, I would be such a good person if I was rich. But then you see that money in that bank account and you're like, oh, my God, the things I could do. And you want that power. You have the power to do what you want. If you're a truly well person, though, which I hope I am, because obviously I've not fallen into the the big money bracket, you know, having a lot of money, but I truly hope one day if I do get a lot of money, I want to be good with it. I don't want to be stupid. I don't want to not help. Like, charity is a good thing. Charity is a good thing, and giving giving is a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, as a society, that's how we thrive, is just helping one another. And if you don't, you get what we got now in 2022. But, yeah, man, I mean, we'll see what happens through this season, if the revolution will will suffice, if it will happen. I love the the moment where that one lady, I didn't get her name, but she was one of the, one of the big top lawyers or whatever or something like that, or council members, and, uh, you know, she was going through her, Daily routine, jogging, listen to a podcast, and then she gets home, her house is getting hacked. That one dude on the screen who, I mean, he's speaking facts, but he really just reminded me of a very, you know, obviously center-right, center-left, neoliberal, who's like, I'm worried about society, but he's, I love the line he said, he's like, we are swapped from a democracy to a dictatorship and in this world and what i'm seeing is that could be the, a very likely scenario you know one of these corporations especially evil corp i mean a lot of people are going to be in trouble and they're going to want to be that illusion to help them and it's not going to work out it, it truly won't um so we'll see what happens with her I mean, are they going to give him the money? As Scott Knowles said, he won't, he, he'll do it. He's the main chief officer, chief technology officer. So we'll see what happens there. Poor Gideon. We, we met Gideon, or not met, but we saw Gideon this episode. I mean, all safes in the ground. The FBI believes Gideon was involved in everything. So that's that sucks for Gideon. That That blows. Like, fuck, that, that's unfortunate. Gideon was was threatening. He was like, hey, I mean, if you don't tell me anything you know, I'm going to go to the FBI. I'm going to tell them what, what you did on that day. And it will look bad for you. And maybe Gideon knows a little too much about what Elliot's been doing or has his suspicions. And Mr. Robot's right to be like, bro, they might know. And then you see that fucking men in black dude, you know, got the hat and everything. Just sits down. He looks sketchy and shady as fuck, like they all do. The FBI, it's a, that's who they are. <laughs> Scratches those bugs in me, there's bugs. Bugs, oh my god, there's bugs. They're crawling, like shit like that. It's real schizo shit. But it could be actually happening in real time. We know Elliot's a schizo, and he has his problems, but sometimes those... Those problems that he fears and the paranoia, they could be actually happening because of the the person and the influence that he has. 
that the, I guarantee the government does know. The CIA and the FBI, they definitely have an idea of, of what Elliot's been doing or kind of up to because... Like what Mr. Robot said last season, I mean, he was like, don't let them find me, or don't let them kill me, or don't let them take you from me. Like, that could be meaning, like, the, the government wants to control Elliot and not let him have these delusions that could be threatening to the sanctity of America. <laughs> so, it's, oh, it's so insane, but I love it, dude. I love shit like this, man. It's so good. It really is. It is. But Mr. Robot is is vital to Elliot's existence. Because like I said, if Mr. Robot's dead, Mr. Elliot is not really there. So. Man. It was weird seeing a smart house, though. Rich motherfuckers. The type of shit that they own. I guarantee that that's real, too. I've never seen one, but those smart houses, I think they're real. I'm pretty sure. Like, obviously, the rich can only get it, but it's also a stupid idea because it can get hacked in easily, like what we just saw by Darlene. So, fuck, dude. Fuck. Fuck rich motherfuckers, dude. Take him down. I don't care, Darlene. Do, do what you need to do. There will be casualties and there will be problems, but that is okay. And Mr. Robot, ladies and gentlemen, that was the season premiere of Season 2. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram for daily, or uh, in the description below. <laughs> Mr. Robot, Season 2, I'm excited, man. This show is so good. The music, the, the directing, the writing, it's all meaningful, and it's all confusing as shit. So, we'll catch you later. Goodbye!